Okay. I'm going to show you how to make chainmail more of chainmail. Uh, I'm going to take the four, put one ring in it, and hook the next one into it. And close the ring. And it will. Then you set it back down, look at it. It goes the same direction as the rest of them. And you will do that for every single one. After you get the hang of it, you go pretty fast. And you. After you figure it out, you kind of don't have to set it back down each time. But once you do that, once you have all of them in a row, you take the four rings and close them on those other ones. And after you get done, it will look like that. And if you set it back down, it, it looks just like the others, just it has one ring put in between each spot. I will finish up doing the rest of these four. It's, you, it just takes practice to figure out how to do each one of these you mess up quite a bit sometimes even people that have done this for a long long time mess up quite often but if you look at each piece you will notice that they each line up There, I have finished one more row in about 25 seconds. And after you get done doing all these, you will need to get the rings and put them in here. I will show you how to do that in my next video after I get done with the rest of these here. This is kind of like trial and error basically. You mess up about six or seven times out of ten. Basically, that's your odds when you're first beginning. When I first started, I messed up a bunch of times. You just can't give up. You gotta keep on going. And eventually I got it. I figured out how to do it because my older brother showed me how. And there are websites that you can look up. And they show you in a little more detail than what I am showing you here. I am just showing you how kinda how to do these. Uh, the main thing is to stay focused on how you hook these rings in because you can get these rings put on backwards and you have to do it again. That means taking the ring back off and laying it back down to look at how it lines up. This is one of the simplest forms of chain mill, I think, the foreign one is. And that is what I'm showing you here. In some of my other videos I will be putting on at a later time, I will try to show you how to make 6 in 1, a spiral, 4 in 1, and also I will try to do maybe some 
a box chain. Basically a box chain is really simple. You just do this here and after you get done doing that you basically hook another ring in the back side of it into the four rings. But I will show you that later. And this one here from a scale from 1 to 10, 10 being the hardest this is about a 4, maybe a 3. No harder than a 4 really for anybody. The 6 and 1, me personally, I haven't done it very much, so I would rank it as about a 6 or 7. The spiral, 4 and 1, it's pretty hard, but not too hard. I rank it at about 5. And there you go. You have 5 rows of five frog all set up and ready to be hooked in between here 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 and here and there you go that is how you do the four-in-one chain mill